Hello and welcome to Farmer's Tech program. We are still at the University of Eldoret where we are feasting different stands during this day where they have organized a great trade fair. And with me we have uh, one of the person in charge of Royal 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 Seed, eh? Royal Seed yes. Company where they are selling different they are showing us different varieties of uh, vegetables, especially cabbages. I'm seeing spinach, I'm seeing skumawiki, I'm a skumasiku. Okay, t introduce yourself and tell us more on the same. Okay, my name is Benjamin Saina mm -hmm. from Kenya Highland Seeds or Royal Seed Company. Mm -hmm. I'm in charge of North Rift all the way from Ban Forest to Ortum and Bungoma. Yes, so I'm generally dealing with the horticulture mm -hmm. and our seeds are normally very quality seeds. That is why we are up to, we, we can go up to East Africa. That's why we call it a quality seed for Africa. And that is why we have gone up to Uganda, up to Tanzania at the moment. And we are still heading far, further than that. Okay. Yes. Okay, today in your stand, what do you have for the farmers? Okay, in our stand we do have a variety of products. We have cabbages. We have, for cabbages we have Kefaro F1. We have Pretoria F1. Also we have... Uh, Kifaru F1 which is uh, very nutritive than the other cabbages. At the same time we do have collards and uh, uh, collards, kales and also we have our greenhouse, we have some products also. I think we shall go there and maybe see. At the same time we do have skumawiki called uh, skumasiku. It does very fast. Within one month you'll be able to harvest your Okay, what's your unique when you let's start with cabbages? Yes. How unique is your brand? Our brands are they are quality because they don't burst when they, 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 they you can store them for a longer period. Yeah. They can stay in a longer period within in the in the farm. At the same time when you go to the market, they don't get rot. They they don't get rotten. So I, the, the farmer can be able to sell within that time is still looking for market okay in terms of duration how long does your cabbage take to to mature it takes three months from two and a half months to three months that cabbage is ready for harvesting yes what is the climatic requirement for this climatic requirements are soils should be moderate uh, not very not sandy not very you uh, not very clay so it's actually adequate soil is generally almost all areas but you don't go to sandy soil and don't go to clay soils and then rain moderate rain is enough if you don't have rain you can also use irrigation yeah, okay. yeah. let's talk of the the other, the other variety that you have when you talk of skumawiki, how, da, skumasiku, how long does it take to mature? Okay, skumasiku takes 30 days to mature. So within the first two weeks, you can be able to pick a few and maybe sell or, or rather eat. Yeah, so it is very fast maturing. Yes. Okay, there's a farmer who like to do horticulture. Yes. And, and he doesn't know the, the requirements in terms of skills. What, what are the requirements in terms of which fertilizer to apply, at what, at what stage, what should you do in terms of maintenance of weeds? Yeah. yeah, generally the farmer has to make sure that the field is very clear, no, there are no weeds at all. So he must do routine weeding. At the same time, he must also do what is called a routine spraying of herbicide, not herbicide, insecticides at the same time fungicide. So you must get rid of the fungal diseases and the in, in, insects. These insects bring diseases, so you must get rid of them. So you need to have very good uh, knowledge on that. So if the farmer doesn't have that knowledge, then definitely he's going to fail. But since royal seed are there, they are able to assist the farmer w w w when dealing with these products. Yes. So we also give out technical advice to the farmer. Yeah. Okay, what's your last advice? Or what is the reaction? Before that, what's the reaction of the farmers who have visited your stand? 
uh, the reaction to the farmers is very positive. They are, they, they, they are looking forward in planting most of our products because generally, as far as, 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 as generally as they've gone round, all of them they are saying our products are doing very good. So I think they'll be for them. Yeah. There are farmers who normally plant tomatoes. They they plant cabbages and even to, uh, potatoes. And the challenge has been plight, uh, the issue of plight. Uh, and it takes time to identify that until you realize that the, the crops have been affected. So what, what, what do you normally do? What we advise is, you are not supposed to wait till you see the problem. Plan yourself, have a program, such that every week you have a routine spraying. Yes, so you must have a fung fungicide every week, every week you must spray. So you will not be able to get uh, affected at all. We are still watching Farmer's program and with me we have Benjamin and he's still uh, the person in charge of Royal Seed Company whereby we, we are in, his, in, the, in the greenhouse where they have the stand of the greenhouse and we are seeing a, a variety of tomatoes. You can explain to us. Yes, we do have three varieties of tomatoes here. Mm -hmm. We have Susana F1 mm -hmm. followed by Bravo mm -hmm. followed by uh, harmony. Mm -hmm. So these three varieties are actually high yielding and they are resistant and tolerant to bacteria. Mm -hmm. That is why we are for them. Mm -hmm. Also, apart from the the, the, potato, the tomatoes, mm -hmm. we do have mm -hmm. we do have um, pepper. We do, we do have pepper, two types: ilanga and passarella. Mm -hmm. Ilanga is, is yellowish in color, mm -hmm. and then Passarella, greenish in color. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Maybe in terms of maintenance, do you see these tomatoes having a different way of maintaining in comparison to the other varieties from the other different companies? Definitely, all this mm -hmm. you must consider your, your routine practices. Mm -hmm. You must put in, look for fungals mm -hmm. should not be there, mm -hmm. diseases should not be there, mm -hmm. and that is why also. You are seeing some traps here, like this ones, the red, the, the blue, and the yellow. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are trapping the insects so that these insects don't carry, they are actually carriers of diseases. Mm -hmm. So when they are attracted, they touch there, mm -hmm. they, they, they get stuck. Oh, okay. Yes. So why are you using different colors? Different colors are for different insects. Okay. Yes. The females, you can, they, 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 they go maybe to the mm -hmm. uh, yellow ones, mm -hmm. and then the green ones, the, the blue ones, the male. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are attracted by the color. Okay. Yes. So you are based on research. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yes. Let's talk of um, the yield, like tomatoes. What, what, do you, what is your projection? Our projection is mm. a farmer mm. can get up to 30 tons per acre, mm -hmm. between 20 to 30 tons per acre. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Oh, and in a greenhouse like this, mm -hmm. you can harvest. In one meter square, mm -hmm. you get 10 kilos. In one meter square, you get 10 kilos. Okay. So you can calculate that by the size of the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the greenhouse. Okay. Yes. There is a farmer who would like to start a greenhouse. And what, what are the benefits uh, that you have seen from the same? Okay. In comparison with the farmer who plants tomatoes outside? In comparison with that one who plants outside is, the farmer using a greenhouse uses very few uh, insecticides, very few fungal uh, fungicides. Mm -hmm. So actually, the the, 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 the the chemicals that he's using mm -hmm. are lower. So the expense will go a bit lower than that one outside. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. expenditure will be lower. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is that assumption that farmers normally have that greenhouse is expensive. Is that true? The greenhouse is not really expensive because the 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 the, the, the output it will give you will actually be higher than that one outside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you too. You. Mm. Welcome. Food production has been made even more interesting. It's big. It's new. It is farmer's check. Join Jeffrey Chepkonyas as brings you new farming techniques and lofty enterprising ideas on the farm on KTS every Tuesday. Don't miss.
So kindly introduce yourself and tell us what you have come here to do today. Uh, my name is Francis Wario. Mm -hmm. I work with Coopers, mm -hmm. Kenya uh, K Brands Limited. Mm -hmm. We are an agricultural um, supplies mm -hmm. and services company, yeah. and we deal with uh, supplying products that assist farmers mm -hmm. to maximize on their yields. Okay. And um, I'm I work with agrono agronomy products. Mm -hmm. Those are the products which you can use in your crop production to help you to maximize uh, yields in crops. Mm -hmm. And among these products we have fungicides which are used to control uh, fungal diseases in crops as well as insecticides which can control insects. Mm -hmm. And we also have um, a biostimulant mm -hmm. which helps to... Um, which helps to enhance growth. Mm -hmm. Okay, specifically in this stand I'm seeing potatoes and when I was coming I saw a number of farmers who were asking questions. What are the common questions that they're asking and what, are, what, are you, what is the feedback that you're giving? Well, in potato production, mm -hmm. some of the major issues are to do with how they can protect their potatoes from soil-borne mm -hmm. diseases. Yeah because our soils have a lot of um, fungal diseases and bacterial diseases. Okay. So we are advising them mm -hmm. before they uh, finish planting, mm -hmm. they should apply this product called Rhodazim, mm -hmm. which is a very strong fungicide, yeah. which controls fungal uh, soil-borne fungus, mm -hmm. such as Fusarium mm -hmm. and uh, Phytophthora mm -hmm. and Pythium. These are the common funguses which attack plants in the soil okay. and they cause, uh, they cause rotting mm -hmm. in, the, in the crop yeah. at early stages. Mm -hmm. So we are advising farmers to apply this product mm -hmm. during planting. Oh. Um, there are also insect pests mm -hmm. which seem to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Among them we have wireworms um, and other grubs which are soil borne as well, mm -hmm. but also there are other pests like aphids mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, thrips mm -hmm. and also certain worms mm -hmm. that attack the leaves mm -hmm. and the foliar parts of the plant. Mm -hmm. So we are advising our farmers to apply products such as Bamako. Mm -hmm. This is a very good product mm -hmm. which controls aphids and white flies. We know white flies are particularly dangerous because, for example, in tomatoes, they also cause uh, viral infections such as um, tomato yellow leaf cull disease, which is very serious in Kenya. So this one helps to control those white flies. Um, and we also have another product known as Jackpot. Jackpot is very effective on worms both soil borne and also foliar, foliar borne worms. Okay. So we are advising our farmers to apply those products. Mm -hmm. In terms of fertilizer, I saw one farmer talking of the fertilizer to your, that you are supposed to apply to your potatoes. Which one specifically? Yes, we have a product which is known as AfriKelp. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, this is the AfriKelp product. Mm -hmm. AfriKelp is a biostimulant which is made from seaweed. Okay. Um, it's an organic product and it has a lot of uh, what we call auxins. Auxins are hormones which, are, which regulate growth. Okay. So therefore, when you apply this to your crop, it makes the crops to uh, produce roots very effectively so that your crop uh, has a very good early establishment. And therefore, it can begin feeding well mm -hmm. and it will grow strongly. Okay. It also enhances the uh, foliar growth mm -hmm. because it uh, in increases the length mm -hmm. of, the, of, of the stems yes. and also increases the vigor of the growth of the leaves mm -hmm. and also helps uh, to enhance flower development mm -hmm. and also prevents flower drop, flower abortion and also fruit abortion. Okay. It also makes in potatoes, mm -hmm. it uh, enhances the potato tuber growth 
and uh, ensures that all the potatoes are uniform in size so that you don't have very small potatoes and therefore you increase the yield of your potato production. Okay, at what stages do you apply the fertilizer? Africa is applied at all stages of growth, beginning from planting. You can apply it during planting to the potatoes in the ground. After emergence, you can continue applying Africa help. Uh, and even at every two weeks, if you wish, and depending on the, the vigor of your crop, you can continue applying up to the, the final foliar growth. Of the potatoes okay. so it's a it's it's a product that you can apply at any time mm -hmm. you can also mix it mm -hmm. with any other um, pesticide or fungicide mm -hmm. it will continue to work okay. yes let's talk of uh, chemicals that you're using to control weeds do you have any yes we do in potatoes mm -hmm. we have a product which is known as amber mm -hmm. amber is a good product mm -hmm. Uh, it controls, it's a selective uh, weed product and it will, uh, it's also pre-emergence. So therefore when you apply it at, at the potatoes, when the potatoes are like one and a half um, feet high, it will ensure that it protects the, the, the weeds, those that are already grown and those that have not germinated. So you will not have to do any weeding for the potatoes because after that, the potatoes will cover the ground and there will be no room for any more weeds. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you will not have to weed manually, mm -hmm. thus reducing uh, the potential to, um, to, to, to put your, your potatoes, um, to, to, put, uh, to injure the potatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's important because if you injure the potatoes, then you expose them to attack by bacteria. Okay. Um, so therefore, you'll have higher production uh, because of weeding using this again mm -hmm. it's cost effective uh, because you use less money to you to weed using uh, herbicides uh, like amber okay. apart from potatoes uh, the chemicals that you have mentioned starting from fertilizer weed, weed control fungicide control insect control do you apply the same to the other economical uh, crops Yes, um, basically Africa help is applied to all crops, all and any crop, including tomatoes mm -hmm. and cabbages, sukuma wiki, um, and anything else, including maize. Okay. It has the same effect okay. because it uh, enhances growth mm -hmm. and uh, enhances the, the ability of the crop to feed. Therefore, it, it feeds and grows with vigor. Okay. Even the other crops, even the other products, Bamako and also Imaxi, these are very effective in controlling white flies in all crops. Also aphids in brassicas, aphids in cabbages and sukumawikis because it's a major pest. They are very well controlled by Bamako and Imaxi, two products. Again, um, for jackpot, because we know jackpot is effective on caterpillars, uh, it's effective in maize, in armyworm, mm -hmm. in cabbages for um, sawfly mm -hmm. and for diamondback moth, mm -hmm. it's very effective against those pests. Mm -hmm. So these products are used in all in all uh, crops. Mm -hmm. Imaxi is used in maize yeah. to control maize aphid, mm -hmm. which is the one which brings uh, maize necrosis disease, okay. which is a very serious disease in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So these are products which are used in all products, mm -hmm. in all crops. Okay, recently we had the maize a uh, worm that was affecting the kakamega, pusia and parts of nandi. Mm. Are you able to tell the farmers that you are able to get a remedy for the same? Yes, uh, this is the army worm, the fall army worm. Mm -hmm. uh, the fall army worm is susceptible mm -hmm. to jackpot mm -hmm. in mixture with imaxi. Okay. It is a very uh, hardy pest. So therefore you need to control it early. Mm -hmm. If you wait until it develops yeah. into a, a, a proper caterpillar, mm -hmm. it is very resistant to many of the, of the products. Okay. So therefore, if you spray Imaxi, which is a systemic pesticide, mm -hmm. early mm -hmm. on your maize crop, mm -hmm. then as soon as the armyworm eggs are laid, mm -hmm. before they go to the third insta, from first and second and third insta, mm -hmm. 
then you can control them using Emaxi and Jackpot. Okay. So those farmers who are using a mixture of Emaxi and Jackpot, mm -hmm. early, mm -hmm. don't wait until you see the caterpillar mm -hmm. because by that time it's too late. Too late yeah. But if you know that there's a chance that armyworm will attack your farm, mm -hmm. then you spray Emaxi and Jackpot combination early. Mm -hmm. You will not see the pest mm -hmm. because you will have controlled it before it's visible. Oh, okay. And therefore you'll be able to, uh, uh, to save your, your maize crop. Yeah, my name is uh, Nathan Koske. Uh, I work with Syngenta um, as a, a key accounts manager for vegetable seed. And uh, as you can see, I'm not even able to hold this. Eh? This is one of our flagship varieties. Uh, this is a variety which we already have here in the field, uh, which we wanted to showcase to farmers just to see the capability of our varieties. Mm -hmm. We have very good varieties starting from tomatoes, uh, pepper, cabbages and uh, out of all these varieties we have showcased them here mm -hmm. and uh, one of them is here. This is Triperio F1 mm -hmm. which we, I think you will also see in the background. Some of the variety, this variety um, we have weighed and we've gotten up to around 15 kilos per head. Uh, this variety we have seed in two different packs. We have uh, a 2,500 seed pack and 10,000 seed pack. So um, just for me to be, yeah, it's quite heavy. It's 15 kilos. So um, the cabbage varieties that we have are two. We have Quisa F1 and Triperio F1. Triperio F1 is a highland material, very good highland material. It can get you to around 15 kilos as you have seen. And per acre you need between 50, around 15,000 heads per acre. Mm -hmm. So that means you need only seed, uh, one pack of 10,000 seed and another one of uh, 2,500, two pieces. So you have one acre done. Then uh, we also have the peppers. We have two pepper varieties. Mm -hmm. This is called uh, Admiral F1. Mm -hmm. Admiral F1 is a uh, yellow pepper, as you can see the color. Uh, the yellow pepper, um, Admiral F1, usually can be harvested green usually because the bigger market for what the farmers are usually getting are the green market but you can wait for this color change and once the color change to this the prices are usually very good uh, because again uh, you now have better carotines uh, within the, 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 the fruit and which is very um, of course uh, has very good uh, nutritional value for your health. Okay. So we have two varieties, this yellow one and we also have a red pepper variety called Commandant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, when you talk of the cabbage, I've seen the size, you have talked of the weight, the total of 15 kilos. Maybe you can tell us how did you maintain until that level? Um, a cabbage usually is one, you have to get a good variety and which we have. Then number two, it depends on, uh, you know, a cabbage requires a lot of fertility for it to give you a bigger head. Mm -hmm. So here we only planted with the DAP and we mixed it with farmyard manure, some good amount of farmyard manure. We did not do any top dressing. We've also done some very good control of pests and diseases because of course we are the champion of that. We also have very good crop protection products. Of course, uh, I, I, if I can mention a few of the yeah. pests that have affect cabbages, we have cutworms using during plant, transplanting, and normally that is when we use a product called karate just to try and get rid of those ones so that they don't cut your plant as you transplant. Then at number two, we have aphids. Aphids usually are very uh, bad insects. They usually cull the leaves of the, of the cabbage, and we have a very good product called Actara, which does very well on it. So Actara, you only use eight grams per 20 liter and you're able to clear that. Apart from that, we have other pests. We have a pest called diamond back moth. Diamond back moth usually makes leave, make holes on the leaves of the plant. And um, the best product which we have to be able to help you control that is match. So those are some of the uh, pests that we have. Some of the diseases we have, we have ring spot. And ring spot, the best product that you can use is either score or Otiva. Yeah. Okay, farmers, farmers are wondering the maintenance that you, you have mentioned, DAP. 
and also spacing you didn't mention something to do with spacing yeah if you look at our spacing here we've done a big up spacing we are all, almost doing 60 cm by 60 that gives you a very big head but if you want a smaller head you can always do a smaller spacing of 45 cm to around 50 cm and you get a bigger population of plants but of course with a smaller weight but smaller in this case depending on the variety the variety which we have which is triperio f1 can give you a head of not less than five kilos between five and six kilos with that kind of spacing so you have squeezed it but you have that kind of spacing the other very good thing that you need to know uh, especially about cabbages a cabbage requires a lot of water you know that head to be able to form into that head you require water so for you to get a good size of cabbage you have a good variety you have uh, you know good uh, nutrition that means you have put in the farming and manure and then the last part you have already uh, you have water which is enough to give you that head and now you have controlled the pests and diseases you're ready to go to the market okay as a person who has been here yesterday and today in this trade fair what can you say that the questions that most farmers are asking i think most farmers who are coming especially to our stand is uh, they look at what we have done and they say is this was in Gishu? i'm still telling them this is was in Gishu and it is possible everywhere in was in Gishu. you can still be able to get this kind of pepper you can get also the tomatoes which you have seen you can get also the cabbages here the only thing is we need to just you know roll our sleeves and go to the farms we are not only able to produce maize we can also do very good horticulture as you have seen here so most of the farmers who are asking us is is it possible here i will tell them it is possible today it is still possible tomorrow and it will still be possible the only thing is roll up your sleeves yeah okay let's talk of the market challenges that farmers are facing what what advice can you give them usually if you have a good product i was telling some of the farmers who have asked me a, a lot of questions about the head size which we have and saying uh, now how, how much will i sell this what i usually say is you look at you you calculate the number of plants that you have in an acre if you have cabbages if you have fifteen thousand heads in, a, in an acre you don't need to look at uh, the size it, it depends if you get a market that buys on the kilos well and good if you don't get a market that buys in uh, kilos and they want to just look at the head size they will look at your farm and they will tell you they will give you a better price than the former farmer because of the quality that you have so first work on the quality the market should not be a big issue the other thing that you need to do is you have to time especially most of these vegetables you have to time and get a good market for every other crop that you do mm -hmm. okay which is the preferred time when you are supposed to plant depending on the rainy season now which um I will not I will not mention that it is this is the specific time that you are supposed to do. It depends on whether you have water. You can decide to irrigate your farm. If you don't have irrigation then now you have to time it during the rainy season so that you have your crops during the rainy season because you don't have water. But otherwise these crops can be done throughout the year depending on whether you have water or if you have irrigation. Yeah. Management, of course, of course, uh, most of these three months crop usually requires a lot of fertilization because these are crops that are supposed to give, to bear almost immediately. You have you have transplanted, and in the next you know 75 days, 90 days, you are supposed to have a fruit. So what that means is during planting, you have to in, in, you know cultivate enough manure in your soil uh, plus of course the planting fertilizer a very good planting fertilizer maybe DAP or maybe Aramila Wina or whichever fertilizer you may find uh, fit but usually what we advise our farmers is do a soil test know what your soil requires then you can come and plant but otherwise once you have your crop ready uh, up of course there are so many diseases that affect uh, pepper we have uh, fungal diseases but we have very good products from Syngenta. We have uh, Otiva, we have Sco, and we have Ridomil. Which, if you know which 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 uh, disease or pe which um, problem you have, then you can easily come in with your product and and be able to tackle that that problem. So apart from that, we also have insects, and we have the products which I have mentioned. We have admi um, we have. Um, uh, a product like karate you have a product like engeo also for aphids and, and and everything so once you are sure of what you want to do as syngenta we have a, a crop program for each uh, for each crop that we are doing so that it can help you guide you so that you have a better crop and you are able to tackle the problem that you have based on the information which we have given talk of for cabbages it's easier to know the duration in terms of maturity at some point you will cut them off 
Yeah. Let's talk of Pilipili Ho and the, the pepper. How old the, or the height in terms of height? Usually, um, usually pepper. Uh, this we call it ball pepper. Usually peppers usually take a long time in the farm. You can harvest it for a full year if you want, but now it depends on the management. Now, um, once you grow your crop, once you transplant, usually um, pepper takes 75 days. You have it green, but you can wait a bit longer so that you get a, ch a color change, either red or yellow or orange, depending on the variety which you are doing. Uh, but for pepper, Depending on your feeding, you can feed and you continue feeding and you have your crop harvesting for almost a full year. Mm -hmm. yeah.